Happy Monday, boys and girls, and welcome to Flint Hill. Today is Monday, November the 9th, 2020, and we are so happy that you're back with us here at Flint Hill, whether you are in person or whether you're virtual learning. We're glad you're here. Um, I want to bring you up to date on a couple of things. Uh, today begins National Young Readers Week here at Flint Hill, and we will be celebrating with our parade on Thursday, so I hope you're looking forward to that. Tuesday at 6 p.m. will be our Baddie About Books. It was, has been rescheduled. November the 11th, which is Wednesday, that's Veterans Day. And we've been asking you to send in pictures of your veterans um, so we can make a tribute for them. And uh, Miss Cannon is working very hard on that right now. And we're giving her as much information as we can. And I look forward to sharing that with you on Wednesday. Again, uh, Book Character Parade is Thursday. And uh, if you have not already decided as a class or a grade level what you're going to do, um, now's the time. Okay, we need to know what WPTV, we need to know what you're going to, what your book is going to be. Um, if you were just going to be a, a, a bystander and watch, that's okay. But we really wanted 100% participation. So look forward to that at nine o'clock on Thursday. November the 25th through the 27th will be our Thanksgiving holidays, and we're all looking forward to that because we all have things to be thankful for. So um, don't forget about that, and remember that's coming up. Students that have come back to Flint Hill in person, if you still have Chromebooks, hotspots, materials um, that need to be returned to Flint Hill, please bring them back. Uh, we really need them back, okay, boys and girls? We're doing inventory in, on the Chromebooks on uh, Tuesday, Ms. Thompson and I are, and the teachers need to have their Chromebook carts back in the media center by the time they leave to go home on Monday, okay? If we don't have them, we can't inventory them, and we can't uh, give an accurate count of what we have and we can't decide how to split up these additional Chromebooks that have come into us. So it is imperative, teachers, that you get that back down there so we can begin on that first thing uh, Tuesday morning. Um, also, um, we would like to encourage you this week, since it is uh, National Young Readers Week, to read a good book. Um, if it's one that you've already read before, that's okay. Um, you know, just improve improve your reading skills. Um, it's, it's always good to get off and get into a quiet place and just read something uh, for fun, okay? So please um, try to do that sometime during this week. Also, um, we had breaking news this weekend, and I didn't want the new show to go by without uh, announcing this. Uh, boys and girls, over the weekend, we found out that uh, we will have a a new president in January, in case you didn't know that. And our new president is uh, Joe Biden, okay? So I also wanted to let you know that the vice president will be Kamala Harris. And um, that's historic in the fact that she will be the first African-American lady uh, to um, hold that office. So that's pretty, um, that's pretty, that's pretty epic. So I wanted to let you know that, and I hope that you will um, stand behind the new president. Um, that is what a democracy does um, when they are a true democracy, because we all had our opportunities to go and vote, and we cast our ballots in the way that we did. And, you know, sometimes we win and sometimes we lose. That's just the way it is. I don't always win and I don't always lose when I vote. But um, I think we need to... Uh, get ourselves in the situation where we are going to stand behind our president and um, make this country um, greater than it already is. And uh, as um, Sophie Cannon told us back on election day, if she were still uh, in China, she wouldn't be able to vote, but she exercised her right as being a, an American now to be able to do that. Now, I don't know whether her her vote went one way or the other, but it doesn't matter. She cast a vote and that was important for her. And it was important to me to be able to do that. So boys and girls, as you grow older, just know that is a very, very important right that you have. And um, wish uh, president-elect and uh, the vice president-elect all the luck in the world and um, hope that they can do great things for our country. 
So I wanted to let you know that. Um, and as far as the next thing I want to talk to you about is this. Chief Meteorologist Mimoji um, was in the North Georgia mountains this weekend. And she was doing some exploring, enjoying this beautiful weather, working up there in, uh, in Hiawassee. And she wanted me to share with you that your weather today on Monday will be mostly cloudy with a high of 72 degrees and a low of 64 degrees. Tomorrow, we will have our sports um, information from Miss Cannon because I needed to do this new show a little bit earlier than what she was prepared to uh, have the sports ready with the late uh, ball games and such. So um, she's going to send that to me and we'll share that with you tomorrow. Okay, with that being said, boys and girls, I hope you have a wonderful day at Flint Hill and we will see you back here tomorrow. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic from which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. about National Young Readers Week? Well, let me tell you a little bit about that. National Young Readers Week is where a group dresses up in like a book character for the young readers. Some examples of book characters are Wizard of Oz, Cat in the Hat, Diary of a Wonder Kid, and AZ Mysteries, also lots more. Now, that is what you somewhat do for National Young Readers Week. National Young, also National Young Readers Week, has been around ever since 1989, and Pizza Hut created National Young Readers Week. <laughs>